A rectangular loop consists of 102 closely wrapped turns and has dimensions of 0.4 meters by 0.3 meters. The loop is hinged along the y-axis, and the plane of the coil makes an angle of 30 degrees with the x-axis. What is the magnitude of the torque exerted by the, on the loop by a uniform magnetic field of uh, 0.76 tesla directed along the x-axis when the current in the winding has a value of 1.2 amps in the direction shown? What is the expected direction of rotation of the loop? Uh, uh, of the loop? So you can have either clockwise, counterclockwise, or the magnitude is zero. So we know that the torque, the the torque, is equal to B I A N sine theta. So that's the magnetic field, current, area of the loop, number of turns, and the angle. And the and the angle is the angle away from being perpendicular to the plane of the loop. So in this case, we know that our angle is only 30 degrees away from being parallel, so it has to be 60 degrees away from being perpendicular. Now, absolutely everything else is already in SI units. There's 102 loops that goes into M. Uh, the, the, the area is going to be 0.4 times 0.3, so you'll get... 0.12 meters squared, and then the loop, it gives you the angle, so you take 90 minus that angle to get 60, the fields in Teslas, the currents in amps, so you just literally got to plug in and, cal and multiply. You should get an answer of 9.667338 newton meters. Now the direction, which way is it going? So you're going to point your fingers downward, and you're going to curl them towards the magnetic field, and your thumb should be sticking out away from the screen, so the force is coming out of the screen. That means if I'm looking at it from above, it's going this way, which is going clockwise. So this is clockwise when viewed from above. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.